how does this sound? A conversion kit that would allow your car to run on clean, plentiful hydrogen. It's in the works in New Mexico, and the name of the guy who's building it may ring a bell. He's Bob Lazar, and 16 years ago, he told our George Knapp about Area 51 and said scientists there were studying UFOs. He dropped out of sight, but George caught up with him. As a teenager, Bob Lazar built a jet-powered bicycle, later a jet Honda, then a jet dragster. These days, he's focused on a different propulsion system. Every vehicle we have here is powered by hydrogen. At his new home in rural New Mexico, yeah. Lazar has been working on a conversion kit that will turn any car into a hydrogen hybrid. His two vehicles have already been converted and can travel up to 450 miles on hydrogen gas, then switch automatically back to gasoline. Lazar wants to take it a step further. Every major car manufacturer is working on a hydrogen system. The only difference is that they want to sell you a new hydrogen car and they want to sell you hydrogen gas at hydrogen gas stations. Basically what we're doing is making a conversion kit you can use in your own car and instead of buying hydrogen from somebody else, you make it. He makes hydrogen using water and a solar power generator, but again with a Lazar twist. But it's the only particle accelerator on the block, I'll guarantee it. The small lab behind his home has a 30-foot long particle accelerator he built from scratch. He uses it to produce metal hydrides, which absorb hydrogen gas like a sponge and make it much safer to use as a fuel. Now you can do that with ordinary metal hydrides, but we found a way to kind of actually manipulate the atomic structure to change things and it worked out fantastically. Almost sounds like you're a real scientist. <laughs> That's what they tell me. It's an inside joke based on the ridicule Lazar has faced ever since he went public in 1989 with his claims that he worked on flying saucers in the Nevada desert. The military refused to answer any questions about Lazar or his claims, nor could we verify much of anything about his life. Lazar told us he previously worked at Los Alamos National Lab. The lab repeatedly denied it, even after we found Lazar's name in the lab's own phone book. His critics say that since he came can't prove he ever earned a college degree, he can't be a real scientist, even if he can build jet engines, hydrogen systems, and particle accelerators. Is there a way to prove any of his story? Maybe. In 1989, Lazar claimed the ET saucers he worked on could produce their own gravity. This propulsion was made possible by a super heavy substance he called Element 115. The problem with the story? Element 115 did not exist in 1989. Now, however, it does. Scientists at the Lawrence Livermore Lab created a minuscule amount of 115 last year, a profound development. But the material decayed almost instantly. So where did the government get 500 pounds of the stuff, which is what Lazar claimed long ago. It would have to be found naturally somewhere where heavier elements had a chance to be formed, you know, in the area where there might have been a supernova. In other words, from a solar system other than ours. Lazar's critics say the fact that 115, as created in a lab, is unstable and fleeting proves Lazar's a liar. Lazar says that first batch was only a starting point and that he'll be proven right in the long run. And I'd like to see him continue on the work and produce different isotopes of 115 because they're going to come up with a whole handful of different varieties of it and they're going to come up with one stable isotope and that's what we're interested in. By no means does he dwell on being proven right. He and his wife have left the UFO crowd far behind and could care less, they say. Lazar stands by his original story, but... I certainly can't say I would do it again. I would probably keep probably keep my mouth shut this time. You ever get a twinge about uh, the program and the stuff that you worked on and the stuff that you saw? Oh, sure. Sure. I mean, who wouldn't like to go back and see what they're doing now and things of that sort. But uh, on the other hand, I'd rather be here. George Knapp, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Earlier this year, British scientists say they demonstrated an anti-gravity system that appears to be based on the theories revealed years ago by Lazar. Some scientists say it's proof that what Lazar said about element 115 is true after all. We'll let you know how it comes out. If you'd like more information about Bob Lazar or Area 51, Check out our website at klastv.com where we've created a special collection of stories, tapes, and links.